Alright, you ready? Yeah. What's up? This is Bill Co. hanging out at DBS today, just uh, living the dream. Come to see Dan and the boys down here and uh, see what's up with the sickest shoes in the business. Nice. So, Bill Co., what's been going on, dude? Fill us in what's real been quick going since uh, X Games. Since the X Games, there was a lot of media and stuff, but a lot of relaxing because it was so hectic coming up to it. I got here like three weeks before and pretty much rode my ass off every day. And then, yeah, X Games went good, but I hurt my knee. And then, uh, yeah, had a bit of time off, went back to Australia for a week, hung out with my buddies, went and saw Cam, see how he was doing. And then, come back and got knee surgery a week ago. So now I'm just limping around and start my rehabilitation next week. Well, that's what people want to know. Were you... Uh did you, after you won gold medal and you shot your bike off, did you hyperextend it there or were you yeah, just cutting rug? I thought I, maybe you were cutting rug celebrating that gold medal. No, nah, I didn't really cut too much rug that night as far as I can remember, but um, yeah, now nah, the ghost ride just, just tweaked it just right on that, uh, right in the wrong spot, you know, it shouldn't have happened, but it did, so, you know, you get that on the big jobs, but uh Gives me a chance to get my plate and screws out of my foot, which I've already had done. The knee reconstructed, I'm gonna get my shoulder reconstructed, and on my peg leg, on my club foot, I'm gonna have two toes rebroken and set in the right spot because they're all messed up. Wow. Is that it? That's it. I mean, shoot. So, hey, uh, you're a bionic man here, dude. I, I just wanna know. Going into uh, best trick, let's let's get the real real word out. I mean, I know people, internet was blowing up. Everyone saying Bilko got gold. How did uh, how'd you feel about that? Yeah, I pretty much got bent over again by X Games judges. At least they admitted it this time. So um, they admitted it was an honest mistake, and um, there was nothing they could do about it because it went live to TV and everything. But um, they can't do a recall or nothing. Can't do a recall. It'd just be too much drama. And, make them look real bad and but um yeah so I pretty much got shafted again. It's not the first time it's happened so Yeah. I mean loads loads of got loads of got kissed on the dick by a fairy pretty much. Ended up with a three peat but um I mean it's not his fault but he even said it to me. So. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. did you talk to Loza after Well he then? came up to me and said, you know, I thought you should have won so that was that was nice of him and I mean he knows that yeah, I was, me, I was the only person in the whole contest that landed a new trick, so you don't have to be a, a, a brain surgeon to figure out that it's all about innovation. And Oh well, That's what can you do? Trip. I'll just come back next year and um, I don't know, the thing is next year I'll probably have to kill myself to win best trick. So. On national TV. Yeah, right, I'll probably land, the, land their tricks next year. Well, there was a lot of uh, dead sailors in that too, so. Yeah. Uh, on a good note, man. Uh, I'd love to see it this year, you know, way to come back. You won gold in uh, freestyle, why don't you uh, yeah, capitalize that was, on that? Yeah, um, that was definitely a, a, an awesome feeling, and um, it was kind of a bummer at the same time when I hurt my knee. It was like, really good to win, really suck because I knew I'd hurt my knee bad. So it was kind of leveled out, but, you know, I got the gold medal, and now i got the time off to recover, and the season, competition season's pretty much over with no due to her. So just going to relax and... They say you're only as good as your last performance, so right now I'm feeling pretty good. <laughs> good, man. Has, uh, has a lot of stuff changed since you've won? I mean, uh... Not really. I mean, all my contracts are still going for next year, except for Monster, so hopefully I can cash in on that. And um, that's about it, really. I mean, you know, I got a lot of messages on the internet and stuff saying congratulations and from all my friends back home, so that was cool. You know, everyone's stoked for me and... Um, I'm definitely stoked too and appreciate everyone's support that got me there. So Cool man. What about uh since you won, did you like you know, what'd you do for yourself, you know, to pat pat yourself on the back? Um, I pretty much didn't get a chance to celebrate because my knee was so messed up and I didn't want to mess it up anymore. So I just went home and chilled with my buddy from Australia, Belchi, and my parents were down for two days. And then just chilled out and then um, ended up buying a car, so, um, so now I've got something to drive other than my van. You know, I've got to go to physio and rehab, you know, three times a week and it gets a bit much driving driving an hour and a bit every day in the uh, in the old Chevy Express van. So I bought myself a nice car to cruise around in and 
that's about it really. Just um, just want to get healthy again and get ready for next season. And um, yeah, I think I've already got shows for the first five months of the year booked in. Yeah, what's uh tell tell us what's going on? When does uh that crusty tour start and all that? Uh, it's still up in the air which crusty tour is gonna be which with promoters and stuff, but either way I'm gonna be doing crusty tour somewhere in Australia or America and um and that's about it. That's about all I know for now, but I know it's gonna take up most of the first half of the year and then uh I've got a gig at Red Red Bull X Fighters for the first time. So Oh nice. Pretty exciting. I mean, it only took a, a gold medal to get in, but um, I mean, other guys have got invites for years now. And I don't know if it's because I'm a monster rider. That's but, probably. What but um, now I'm in, so that should be a really good, really exciting series to, to be a part of. And then you know, just spending there. It's good to have a bit of time off, although you don't really like to be injured. But it gives me a lot of time to sort out everything for next year, as far as bikes and and um, that's the only. Only thing I've got to sort out is what I'll be riding, and you know whether it's two stroke, four stroke, or or anything like that. Because right now I'm on 2008 bikes, so they'll be two years old pretty soon. And it has to do with a lot of, you know, especially people want to know too. When you're riding that 250F, you got to gear that thing a little different, right? You got to do some it's stuff. Only, it's only one down from standard. Um, it was actually. Almost an advantage this year at X Games. It had you know plenty of power, but it's also on the edge because it's a big bore and a stroker. But um, traction wise, it was awesome. You know Dunlop yeah, had it was me pretty dry. Dunlop gave me sick tires, so you know compared to the guys on the two stroke, they were wheel spinning quite a lot, and you know I had, didn't have as much trouble getting over the jumps. So usually I do if I run out of power or something, but you know that pro circuit engine I've got is pretty sick. Cool. So you're healing up. And you're gonna get your shoulder fixed. So when are we gonna be seeing you back on two wheels? Back on two wheels, um, December for sure. I mean, uh, that's just warming up for the start of whichever crusty tour I do, and um, that's about it really. Just, uh, just gonna do all my uh, physio and rehab, so I'm 100% ready to get back on. And you know, as always, I think I'll come back a little bit earlier than what the doctor says, but. That's uh, that's what you got to do to get the job done. Killer. What about uh, you going to be seeing any new tricks or anything uh, you've heard through the industry? Guys working on stuff. Not besides. really. Everything kind of mellows out right after X Games, especially. Let uh, everyone's body heal. Yeah, especially seeing there's no major contests coming up. I mean, people have got the luxury now just doing demos and stuff and just chilling out and relaxing and not. You know, before X Games, you put so much pressure on yourself to learn every trick there is and any new tricks you can. Just so you've got, you know, everything in your arsenal for X Games, and so you know you're riding a lot harder, pushing it a lot more, and obviously the more you push it, the more likely you are to go down and stuff like that. So after X Games, I think everyone just takes a step back and can relax, and um, so that's pretty much what everyone's doing right now. And then I guess you know after Christmas, I mean it'll be winter time, everyone will be riding the hills and stuff, which is also good. I'm gonna miss out on that again, but um, yeah, after that for sure, I mean you know you start pushing it around. March, February, March, get back in the foam pit, start working on new variations. So, Cool. So, uh, karaoke or rollerblading? Oh, I kill it at karaoke for sure. I've um, got one of the worst karaoke voices out there, but I'm willing to have it a go. Have a go so, bit, Sweet, of bon, bit of Bon Jovi living on a prayer. So. But anyway, I'd like to say thanks to Monster, Fox, DBS, Oakley, uh, CDI. Dunlop, Filtron, Pro Taper. This is the hard bit remembering everyone. BillK22.com, Humps, Bumps and Jumps in Australia. Brooksy hooks me up with all my ramps. He's a mad dog. And anyone else I forgot. So WMGE, Fluid PR. Works and, Connection? No, I'm on a Works Connection. Oh, yeah. Pro Circuit. There you go. And that's it. Chips and Dippy. All right, well, that's it from Billco.